The beginning is not pure nothing, but a nothing, rather, from which something is to proceed. Also being, therefore, is already contained in the beginning. Therefore, the beginning contains both being and nothing. It is the unity of being and nothing, or is non-being which is at the same time being, and being which is at the same time non-being. Reality is quality, existence. It therefore contains the moment of the negative, and is the determinate being that it is only through it. The self-identical in itself thus refers itself to itself as to its own non-being, but as negation of the negation, as negating that which at the same time retains existence in it, for it is the quality of its in itselfness. If abstraction is made from every determination, from every form of a something, matter is what is left over. Matter is the absolutely abstract. One cannot see, feel, etc. matter. What one sees or feels is a determinate matter, that is, a unity of matter and form. Negation stands immediately over against reality. Further on, in the sphere proper to reflected determinations, it will be opposed to the positive, which is reality reflecting upon negation. The reality in which the negative, still hiding in reality as such, shines forth. Substance manifests itself through the actuality, with the content of the latter into which it translates the possible as creative power, and through the possibility to which it reduces the actual as destructive power. The creating is destructive and the destructing creative, for the negative and the positive, possibility and negativity, are in substantial necessity absolutely united. The truth of being is to be not an immediate something, but essence that has come forth into immediacy. Contradiction is the root of all movement and life. It is only in so far as something has a contradiction within it that it moves, is possessed of instinct and activity. External sensuous motion is itself contradiction's immediate existence. Something moves not because now it is here and there at another now, but because in one and the same now it is here and not here. Quantum is indifferent determinateness, posited as sublated, that is to say, determinateness as limit, one which is just as much no determinateness, which continues in its otherness and in it, therefore, remains identical with itself. Consequently, like an existence in general, the object has the determinateness of its totality outside it, in other objects, and these again outside them, and so forth, to infinity.
As it determines itself, the I at the same time determines nature and frees itself from it. It thereby refers itself to its other through itself. In the reciprocity of action, therefore, necessity and causality have disappeared. They contain both the immediate identity as combination and reference, and the absolute substantiality of the differences. Consequently, their contingency, the original unity of substantial difference, and therefore, the absolute contradiction. It is not the finite which is the real, but rather the infinite. The highest and most intense point is the pure personality that, solely by virtue of the absolute dialectic which is its nature, equally embraces and holds everything within itself, for it makes itself into the supremely free, the simplicity which is the first immediacy and universality. But what is posited by this first resolve of the pure idea to determine itself as external idea is only the mediation out of which the concept as free concrete existence that from externality has come to itself raises itself up, completes this self-liberation in the science of spirit and in the science of logic finds the highest concept of itself, the pure concept conceptually comprehending itself. <laughs>